Welcome to this service. At entrance you should tell, Heavenly Father God, let your mercy be upon us. Give the deaths peace and rest. Give the churches unity and give the world peace. Amen, amen, amen. I knocked them down to the ground. They could not get up again. They fell beneath my feet. You have made me strong to fight battles so that I win against my enemies. You cause my enemies to turn their backs and they run away from me. I can destroy those who hate me. They call us for help, but nobody is there to help them. They call to the Lord, but he does not answer them. I beat them into dust that the wind blows away. I walk over them like dirt that lies on the streets. You have saved me from people who attacked me. You made me a ruler of other nations, people that I did not know before. Now serve me as their ruler. Let us pray the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secret are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our heart by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Penitence God so loved the world that he gave his only son Jesus Christ to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Confession Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have seen in what we have taught, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and married your images in us. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins for the sake of your son jesus christ who died for us forgive us all that is past and lead us uh, out from darkness to walk in children of light amen gloria gloria in excelsis deu gloria gloria in excelsis deu glory to god in the highest and peace to his people on earth Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu, Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deu, Amen. When foreign people hear about me, they choose to obey me. They cannot stand against me because they are afraid. They are not brave enough to fight me. They shake with fear as they come out of their strong cities. The Lord is alive. He is my strong rock. Everyone should praise him. He rules as king. He is the God who saves me. Hallelujah. Amen. 
He is the true God who punishes me, my enemies. He makes the nations obey me. He is the one who saves me from my enemies. Yes, God, you give me power to win against those who attack me. You keep me safe from angry and cruel men. Lord, I will thank you so that all the nations know about you. I will sing to praise your name. Yes, the Lord gives power to me, David, his king. He gives me great strength to win against my enemies. I am the special king that he has chosen. He will continue to be kind to me and to my descendants forever. The Bible, Matthew 11, part 20 to 24, judgment for the unbelievers and part 25 to 30 Jesus prayer for thanksgiving then Jesus settled the cities where he did most of his miracles he settled these cities because the people there did not change their lives and stop sitting sinning Jesus said it will be bad for you, Chorazin. It will be bad for you, Bethsaida. I did many miracles in you. If these same miracles had happened in Tyre and Sidon, the people there would have changed their lives a long time ago. They would have worn sackcloth and put ashes on themselves to show that they were sorry for their sins. But I tell you, on the day of judgment, it will be worse for you than for Tyre and Sidon. And you, Capernaum, will you be lifted up to heaven? No, you will be thrown down to the place of death. I did many miracles in you. If these same miracles had happened in Sodom, the people there would have stopped sinning, and it, it would still be a city today. But I tell you, it will be worse for you in the day of judgment than for Sodom. Then Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. I am thankful that you have hidden these things from those who are so wise and so smart. But you have shown them to people who are like little children. Yes, Father. You did this because it, it's uh, what you really wanted to do. My Father has given me everything. No one knows the Son. Only the Father knows the Son, and no one knows the Father, only the Son knows the Father, and the only people who will know about the Father are those the Son chooses to tell. Come to me, all of you who are tired from the heavy burden you have been forced to carry. I will give you rest. Accept my teaching. Learn from me. I am gentle and humble in the spirit, and you will be able to get some rest. Yes, the, chi the, chi the teaching that I ask you to accept is easy. The load I give you to carry is light. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Epistle, Roman five, part twenty one, part part twelve to twenty one, Adam and queer Christ contrasted. Sin came into the world because of what one man did, 
and with sin came death so this is why all people must die because all people have sinned sin was in the world before the law of Moses but God does not consider people guilty of sin if there is no law but from the time of the Adam to the time of Moses everyone had to die Adam died because he sinned by, by not obeying God's command but even those who did not sin that same way had to die that one man Adam can be compared to Christ the one who had, was commit, uh, coming in the future but God's free gift is not like Adam's sin many people died because of the sin of that one man but the grace that people received from God was much greater many received God's gift of life by the grace of this other man Jesus Christ after Adam sinned once he was judged guilty but the gift of God is different his free gift came after many sins and it makes people right with him. One man sinned and so death ruled all people because of that one man. But no, but now some people accept God's full grace and his great gift of being made right. Surely they will have true life and rule through the one man, Jesus Christ. So that one sin of Adam brought the punishment of death to all people but in the same way Christ did something so good that it makes all people right with God and that brings them true life. One man dis disobeyed God and many become became sinners but in the same way Way, one man obeyed God and many will be made right the law was brought in so in uh, so that more people would sin the way Adam did but where sin increased there was even more of God's grace sin once used death to rule us but God, God gave us more of his grace so that grace could rule by making us right with him and this brings us eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord this is the word of Jesus thanks be to God hallelujah 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 Gospel John 8 part 21 to 30 the unbelieving people warned again Jesus said to the people I will leave you you will look for me but you will but you will die in your sin you cannot come where I am going so the Jewish leaders asked themselves will he kill himself is that why he said you cannot come where I am going but Jesus said to them you people are from below but I am from above you belong to this world but I don't belong to this world I told you that you would die in your sins yes if you don't believe that I am you will die in your sins they asked then who are you Jesus answered I am what I have told you from the beginning I have much more more I could say to judge you but I tell people only what I have heard from the one who sent me and he speaks the truth they did not they did not understand what he was talking about 
he was telling them about the Father. So he said to them, You will lift up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am. You will know that whatever I do is not by my own authority. You will know that say only what the Father has taught me. The one who sent me is with me. I always do what pleases him. So he has not left me alone. While he was saying these things, many people believed in him. Glory to you, O Lord. Hallelujah. 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 God teaches us about Himself. The heavens show us how great God, God is. The sky above shows His good work. Each day speaks about God until the next day continues this, this story. Every night tells us how great God is. They do not use words to speak with. Nobody hears their voice. But their message goes around all the earth. Their words go to all the world. God has made a home for the sun in the sky. Each morning the sun comes out like a happy man who has just married. It comes out like a strong man who wants to run a race. The sun rises at one end of the heavens. It travels in a big circle to the other end. Nothing can hide from its heat. Preaching Pray God's favor over your life. Dear Lord, I kneel before you as the sun rises with high hopes for this new day. I pray for blessings you so graciously planned for, my, for me today. I pray for your promise to take care of me. Let me rest in the promise that you will not leave my side. I ask for your goodness that will elevate my day to a new level. I ask for your strength and power over my obstacles. I will not be overwhelmed with the difficulties of my day. I pray for your favor over my future, your grace that will help me to accomplish my dream. I claim your doors will be open to new opportunities and have solutions to old ones. I pray my heart will overflow with praises and gratitude. Please protect me and keep me from oppressors evil schemes I claim successes in every avenue of my life I pray I will be in the right place at the right time for divine meetings I pray I will achieve all that I, I am called to do fill me up today father with the nourishment of your words Satisfy my every need. Flood over me today with your healing. Flood over me with your love. Overwhelm me with your presence. As my day comes to an end, I pray that I am ever aware of the many blessings you so lovingly gave me. Remind me that tomorrow is in your hands and you know my needs let me rest tonight i am your creation your masterpiece and i will keep my head high knowing i am made in your image amen
the creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. This, uh, he, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The law of the Lord is perfect. It makes us strong again. We can trust what the Lord teaches us. He helps ordinary people to be wise. The Lord's rules are always right. If we obey them, they make us really happy. The Lord's commands are completely good. They show us how to live in a good way. It is right for us to respect the Lord that will always help us. The laws of the Lord are true. They are right and fair. They are more valuable than gold, even the best gold. They are sweeter than the best honey. Your laws warn us to do what it is right. If we obey them, they are a great help to us. Nobody realizes every time that they do something wrong. Please forgive me for the sins that I do not know about. Prayers of Intercessions We pray for the whole world to solve their conflicts and live in peace and grace. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for all poor countries. Give them rain and let them use it usefully to make food. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for sick people. Please heal them and let them know your miracles and let them adore you. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. Amen. The peace. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes us for peace and builds up our common life the peace of the Lord be always be uh, with you Amen Preparation of taking the bread and wine you must have a piece of uh, bread and a glass of uh, non-alcoholic wine, wine or water Blessed are you Lord God of all creation through your goodness we have this bread to set before you which earth has given and human hands have made 
it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be with God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Your Lord is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you and of your own do we give you. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Amen. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For He is your living Word. Through Him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand of high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a, a people for your own possessions. Therefore, we angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name forever praising you and singing holy. Holy, Holy, Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our salvation, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who is in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember this offering of him, himself made once for all upon the cross. 
we proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension we look for the coming of our kingdom and with this bread and this cup of uh, cup we make the memorial of Christ your son our Lord amen Christ is risen Christ will come again amen accept through him our great high Lord this our sacrifice of thanks and praise and as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty renew us by your spirit inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your son Jesus Christ our Lord through him and with him and in him in the unity of the Holy Spirit with all who stand before you in the earth and heaven we worship you Father Almighty in songs of everlasting praise blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever Amen the Lord's Prayer our Father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and glory and are yours now and forever amen If you are many, break the bread and share with each other. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Amen. Giving of communion. Most merciful Lord, your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclean. Our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat this crumb, the crumbs from under your table. But you, Lord, are the God of our salvation and share your bread with sinners. So cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your Son that he may live in us and we in him and that we with the whole company of Christ may sit and eat in your kingdom Amen God's holy gifts for God's holy people Jesus Christ is holy Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father Amen You can eat the bread and drink the wine or water. If it is water you are drinking, you can uh, ask Jesus to turn as wine in your body. The peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. It is the end of the service. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen.
Lord, stop me doing things that I know are wrong. Do not let those sins rule my life. Then I will not be guilty. I will not have turned against you in a bad way. Lord, I want to make you happy. I want my words and my thoughts to please you. You are my strong rock and you are my redeemer. Hallelujah. Amen. At exit, you should tell, I give over my past to the mercy of God, my presence for the love of God, and my future of God's protection. Amen.